Hey there, it's me, Nicole from Always Reading, and I'm here today to tell you on my first video segment, Pros and Cons, um, about the Fire HD. Um, I picked this up just under a year ago um, from Staples, of all places, and decided I wanted to give it a try. Um, I was going to use it for the job I had as kind of a tablet. I didn't really have a lot of intentions on reading some books, but I know that rather than my Nook, Amazon had a bigger selection. Um, there were six or seven books that I just could not find in any Nook friendly format. So um, I was able to buy them through Kindle, which I really appreciated. Um, got a cover. This is a really cool cover because it will kind of do this bit. Stand. Um, I really, really, really enjoy it. Um, battery life is pretty good. Um, I like that it's sort of Android based. I love the front facing camera. Um, the documents for uh, books are really easy to use. For example, um, I just put in my Kindle email address and the documents for review books are sent to me directly, they download, and then I am able to read them and then delete them once I'm done reading them, which is really super cool. Um, whereas at Barnes & Noble it was sort of a, a little bit harder. You usually have to use your computer in order to get books on there. So um, this works more like a tablet. Um, I replaced it because I didn't like the direction of the Nook tablet and where that was going. Um, it became extremely hard to use a few things, and the Barnes & Noble ebook settlement is still kind of out there on the loom, so I'm waiting to see what happens there. Now, some of the cons, or cons, um, <laughs> can you tell me, Keith? Um, <laughs> this tablet has a habit of restarting randomly which is kind of odd. Um, it's just started happening recently, so I'm probably going to have to put in a ticket to Amazon to find out what's going on. I actually had to reboot it once, and actually, it saved everything. It didn't save my places, but once I downloaded to uh, wireless, it just added all my books and all my documents and all my apps back. So that was really cool, whereas um, with Nook, if you've ever had to reboot, it's kind of a catastrophic thing because you have to reload everything. So, um, it's a con, but it's also kind of cool. Also, some bookstores do not support the Kindle right off the bat. I've bought some books from a couple of independent ebook stores and I have to get them in Nook format, which has been kind of, you know, they're, they're DRM protected, so that's Adobe digital edition, um, so it's been kind of a, kind of frustrating. Um, I, I love reading real books as well. I still read real books. Um, I gave my husband my Nook classic to read, um, a couple of books that I bought. I bought the Harry Potter series from that. Um, so my real books aren't going away. My Nook is not going away, but um, I found that I spend way more time with this than I than I do with the Nook, and it was really mind blowing to me. Here we go, that's a good light. <laughs> um, just because it's easy to put in my purse, um, the cover is really made for it. I can watch Hulu, I can watch Netflix, um, I can I can probably watch Kindle's own store, but I have not even tried that. Whereas with the new Nooks. Um, you do have to use their video player, which, eh, you know, like I want to be able to use what I like to use. So, um, overall, I would say that the Kindle wins in the Nook versus Kindle debate for me currently. This is not the newest Kindle, um, which would be the HDX, but I have no plans to change at the time, you know, at the current time. I really like where this is going. Um, I like the screen. I like the options available. Um, 
I was thinking that the uh, ads were going to be a problem, and I kept the ads for eight months, and then I just paid the money to get rid of the ads, and either way, I'm fine. Like, it's not a big hassle either way, so that's pretty cool. Um, final thoughts, I would say that if you are looking for a fully functional e-reader that has the tablet functionality and you want to get something where you're going to have some pretty good support, go with Kindle. Um, yeah, go with Kindle. <laughs> so that's it for me. Welcome. Again, this has been my first pros and con segment of always reading and um, let me know what you're reading on. Is it an e-reader? Is it a Kindle? Is it a Kobo? Is it a Nook? Let me know and let me know your thoughts. Um, one of the other things that I think is really super cool is that I can be reading a book on here and then say my battery dies or say I leave it at home. I can pick up my phone and use the Kindle app and it keeps the same place. So, to be honest, I had some problems with the Nook app, with that very specific thing. So, um, yeah. Team Kindle. Team Kindle. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>